Hi Thumos and welcome back guys. Hope you're doing amazing. So in the Hi Thumos group, we have about 700 plus members. And I have a questions section where they can ask questions. All the guys go there and answer. You can make a video if you want to. I'm gonna start making some videos on these questions. So Liam has a really good question and says, what's the best way to deal with imposter syndrome, especially when I'm inexperienced compared to a lot of others? I'm looking to change my career focus to something completely different. PT and entrepreneurship for my current university degree, criminology. So first things first, part of my mind wants to think, imposter syndrome, bunch of BS. Reminds me of introvert, extrovert, even though there's some, you know, there's some, there's some, there's a reality that you can have those things. But imposter syndrome seems to affect a lot of people that have some accolades, have some sort of achievement, and they don't feel like they deserve it. And here's what I need to tell you, bro. We all feel like this. And the reason is, it's probably ego. It's probably identifying too much with the achievements and not having enough faith to say, I don't know how the hell I got here, right? How the hell do you get to this point? How the hell did you get to a point where a lot of people, when they look at it, it's like amazing. It's like looking at the, the peak of Everest. It's like, how do you climb Everest? Well, you start climbing and you don't stop climbing or you die. How do you achieve something? You, you start at the very base and you work your way step by step by step. Usually that takes years. Um, I think though, even at a certain point, you begin to doubt yourself. And again, I, I think I used to have this, um, but I don't think uh, you need it. And I don't think it, it's helpful at all. I think it's just, uh, it's okay to be insecure. It's okay to be anxious. It's okay to think you're going to fail. The main thing that you need to understand is that you don't have so much control over your life. You only get to control a couple of things. You, know, you control what you control and everything else is doing its own thing. You don't know if it's going to storm tomorrow, a hurricane will come and blow down your house. You don't know if your girlfriend's going to cheat on you randomly. You don't know if your car is going to break down. You don't really know what life has to throw at you. Okay, so instead of trying to manage everything, do what you can do. And in spite of all the absurdity and uncertainty, take action anyway and let life sort of mold you. There's a passage in the Bible that says, I'm the potter and you are the clay. God being the, the potter that shapes the pottery, that molds what he wants of you. Guys, if, you, if you're living in life, if you're being existence itself, then you better realize that it's a, it's a truth that you don't have control over everything. And so that the best thing that you can do is to have action in your life. Movement, action. Now, I'm, I'm not, let's not get this confused. I'm not talking about just weight training and going for walks. I'm saying action, going forward, trying, and life will sort of shape you in the way that it wants. It will shape you. You will meet people that you never thought you would have, meet, ha, uh, have met. You will stumble upon opportunities that you didn't know were there because you decided to leave home base, because you decided to start, because you didn't let the ego get into place. And this is why a lot of people, you know, don't even try their egos. They don't want to be new at something. Imposter syndrome to me seems like, well, I got to be a noob again. Or maybe I'm a noob. Maybe I got some success, some modicum of success, but I'm still kind of unsure. I'm still unsure. And that's okay, man. You got to accept the fact that you're unsure and that you can't control everything. This is stoicism, but this isn't a trendy stoicism. This is stoicism at its core. This is the necessity for being stoic, they, that life just makes you stoic. But the thing is, the most important thing is, is that you realize you're a student, you're learning, you're, you're trying to figure the thing out. And that's all it is. Everything else is your ego playing games, and it doesn't matter. The main thing is that you try, and you keep going, and life will shape you. Life will present to you the mentor. When the, when the student is ready, the master appears. Life will present to you the opportunities to start that 
the the physical or the PT to to move away in into entrepreneurship. Okay, so you know, personal trainer, who knows what's going to come in it these days? Things have changed. You might have to do something online now. You might have to start with training your group of friends and getting some real results and then showing those results off. But I think that you should never let the imposter syndrome hold you back from taking the action. The most important thing, like all of us, is that you just try. Okay, there's you just try and see what comes out of that and see what shows up. It's do what's in front of you, do the next step, do the next item on the list. Do what's in front of you, man. That's all it is. Do what's in front of you. Do and then once you find what works, you start going forward and you do what works. And you do it over and over and over again. Okay? That's how you do it. Stop associating with this imposter syndrome and just try. All right? Hope this helps any of you guys that may be experiencing this. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Get in our Discord group. Collaborate with the men. Hold yourself accountable. Do the 100 days of Thumos. And ask questions that you may see turned into videos. All right? Hope this helped. Talk to you soon. Please subscribe. Leave a like. Peace.